first parting ways, a Naples police officer shot by a fellow officer who was also her boyfriend leaving the department. And it appears she won't go unless she gets a six-figure check paid for with your tax dollars. Good evening and thanks for choosing Fox 4 News at 10. I'm Amy Wegman. I'm Patrick Nolan. Four in your corner is Gabrielle Swan looking into this new development surrounding the fate of officer Amy Young. Gabrielle? Patrick Amy, after 14 years on the job, Sergeant Amy Young may very well sever ties with the police department. We're learning the city manager has been in talks with Young's attorney to settle out of court. Whether city leaders approve the terms or not, the city manager decided months ago not to put her back on payroll. For more than seven months, Sergeant Amy Young has been relieved of her duties at the Naples Police Department. In July, she was rushed to the hospital after a deadly domestic dispute. An investigation found her boyfriend, fellow Naples police officer Dave Monroig, shot her in the head at their Lakes of Estero home. He then turned the gun on himself. Young's 16-year-old daughter came home and found the two before placing a desperate 911 call. My Mom's boyfriend's on the floor bleeding, and the gun's laying by him, and then my mom is laying out front on the porch bleeding. Young was cleared of any wrongdoing and spent two weeks in the hospital, followed by three months on paid leave. Tonight, we're learning she's likely to accept this eight page settlement to leave the force. These are the terms Young would get back pay, a lump sum equal to six months of her salary. She'd also receive six weeks severance, and the city would pay her outright more than $86,000 to settle any pending litigation. The total cost more than $140,000 paid for by the police department. With blue pen, Young has already signed, dated February 6th, that she suffered severe and debilitating injuries that may have affect her ability to function as a police officer. Under the agreement, the city would no longer be responsible for Young, including any potential claims filed against the city by Young or her attorney. The settlement also asks for a pension and permanent disability pay, but that's up to the city pension boards to decide. We reached out to Young's attorney but have not heard back. Naples City Council is expected to approve this settlement at a special meeting on Tuesday. Gabrielle Saran, Fox 4 in your corner. Thank you, Gabrielle. What do you think about this idea of the city giving a $140,000 settlement check to Sergeant Young if she agrees to leave the PD without suing? You can voice your view right now, 239-206-FOX4 or email news at fox4now.